Welcome to another broadcast of The Infidel, the news for all of us who have supposedly chosen hell over heaven, the news for the damned. The famous hacker group Anonymous attacked the Vatican last week. On the 7th of March, the hacking group Anonymous executed a concerted attack against numerous websites owned by the Roman Catholic Church. In a, in a statement, Anonymous declared that it had targeted the Vatican because it is, because it is corrupt. It stated that the attacks against the websites were in response to the doctrine, the liturgies, and the absurd and anachronistic concepts that the Roman Catholic Church spreads around the world. It also called the Vatican a for-profit organization. The main Vatican website was hacked, as well as the official church newspaper. Although Anonymous has had success this year, a similar attempt had failed in 2011. But all is not rosy for the hacker group. Five alleged members from Britain, Ireland, and the United States have been charged the previous day for their involvement in other cyber attacks. This was made possible after a group leader became an FBI informant. American banks are foreclosing on hundreds of churches. Homeowners are not the only ones who are suffering because of the bad economy. Indeed, banks are foreclosing on churches all over the U.S. because they have defaulted on their mortgages. Records indicate that 270 churches have been sold over the last two years, and that nine-tenths of those sales were caused by foreclosures. The record number was in 2011 when 138 churches were sold by banks. It took a long time before these facts became known because financial institutions do not want to look like they are church bashing and are keeping the news quiet. They also try to be more patient before calling in the loans from the financially strapped religious groups. The states that were the hardest hit were California, Georgia, Florida, and my home state of Michigan. The Solid Rock Christian Church near Memphis, Tennessee is a perfect example of how the economy struck hard the small and medium-sized churches. The Solid Rock Church took out a $2.9 million loan at the beginning of 2008 to build a new house of worship, months before the economy crashed. However, because it used all of its savings to finish the project, it's now penniless and has defaulted on its loan. An evangelical group is kicked out of the schools in Delta, British Columbia. Delta is a city of 100,000 people and is located in the Canadian province of British Columbia. Its public schools are supposed to be entirely non-sectarian like all other public schools in that country. However, an evangelical organization had different ideas and started a program it called the Pace Project, planning to place young missionaries in schools. They were able to make their way into the South Delta and University Hill Secondary Schools. At South Delta, for example, the Pace members asked on numerous occasions for permission to volunteer, but their offers were rejected seven times. They were also told by the principal not to contact teachers or students directly. Eventually, they were allowed to paint sets for a school play as long as they followed the aforementioned rule about not communicating with the school population. However, it didn't take long before a teacher complained that the missionaries were bypassing the principal and asking teachers if they could tutor students. That marked the end of their stay at the South Delta High School. The local Board of Education acted just as swiftly as the principal when it found out what happened and issued an edict preventing the promotion of any religious views in its school. The Boko Haram sect, which is reportedly responsible for regular acts of violence and killing in Nigeria, seems to have decided that schools are legitimate targets in their anti-government activities. Since the beginning of January, it has set fire to more than a dozen schools. The name Boko Haram means Western education is sacrilege. This sect believes that Western-style schooling, including the teaching of sciences, has brought corruption to Nigeria. At the same time as burning down schools, Boko Haram has been involved in incidents responsible for the death of more than 300 people this year alone. In January, for example, it attacked the city of Kano, which resulted in 185 dead. It also accepted responsibility for a suicide car bombing last August, which resulted in 25 deaths and over 100 wounded. That's all the news for today. Come back to us on Friday for more news for the damned.